Oh, what's up guys? If you've been a long time watcher on this vlog, you'll see that you can go back several hundred vlogs. My life was a little bit different and uh, we weren't doing the things that we are now. Yes? Go lay down. Go lay down. Go. You want to come in too? You want to come in here? Well, take your time. We've done a lot of amazing things together over the past few years, but nothing compares to what is about to come. Very excited about this. Very excited. Very unexpected. And uh, on our other show, Art Talk, which happens at 8 a.m. in the morning, we talk a lot about the the issue of resistance that people have in their lives and uh, if you're having trouble manifesting certain things in your life and it, it really comes a lot of it comes down to whether you accept conditions for as they are and kind of roll with it or whether you resist those conditions well something came up a, a few weeks back and it actually started back a little bit further than that but I'm just gonna go back a few weeks and that is that at the Murphy Auto Museum up in Oxnard which we do a lot of stuff with many of you guys have have gone to that place and had a great time uh, it's a big place. It's a 90,000 square foot building to which we're using about 40, 45,000 square feet. But it's big. It's big. And uh, we have tried to build it and turn it into something quite spectacular. But that's, it's a lot of space. It's a lot of space. But we committed ourselves to that. And um, uh, David uh, Neal at the Murphy, who is our head, head honcho at the Murphy, he is uh, quite an extraordinary guy capable of doing lots of amazing things. But we kind of joined forces and... and uh, we're having a great time, but something came up a couple of weeks ago, and, and that was that the, the person that owns the building decided to sublease the building to a third party. And that third party came in and decided that they were going to use a large portion of the building for their business, and they were going to not only cut the museum in half, but jack up the rent double. Now, David and I, knowing that that was coming, we didn't sit on our hands and wait for, uh, you know, for our, our asses to be handed to us. We decided to get busy, and uh, uh, probably about six months ago, we looked at another building. Uh, David saw this uh, amazing opportunity, but it, it just didn't work out. Cut to about a week ago, when uh, we decided to, um, uh, to, make a, to make a bold move, a sidestep, something quite extraordinary. And the bottom line is, the Murphy is moving. Not only is it a better building, it's got a parking lot that's twice the size. The gallery space is twice the size. The store is gonna be twice the size. The only thing that's not gonna be twice the size is the floor space for the cars. That's gonna be pared down. We're gonna cut down to where the cars that are coming to the new facility are gonna be the cream of the crop, the absolute best just for you guys. Now, we waited uh, as long as we could to make this announcement, and I know that there's several artists out there that we've been working with uh, to fill the gallery space. I want you to know, don't worry. It's not a big issue. We are gonna be shifting our uh, the Fireball Gallery as far as the timing, and because everything has to come down and then get put up back up in the new museum, that, it, that first gallery showing is going to be extended, so those guys get uh, the time that they need and the time that we promised them. And then Gallery 2, instead of starting in September, Gallery 2 is going to start in January. It's going to be a brand new year. It's going to be a spectacular new gallery. It's going to be a host of cars. We have a parking lot that's just epic. We are so excited, so excited about this move and about everything that's going on there. We have turned something that was potentially disastrous into something seriously cool. And that can only happen because of the way you look at it. So I hope you guys will take this in the spirit that it's given before we start today's vlog. Whatever you have going on in your life that is seemingly negative, it's seemingly a, a hard thing to adjust to, just let it go. Roll with the punches. Because when you switch your vibration, you switch the way you look at things, the things you look at change. And then coolness comes. And speaking of coolness, let's start today's vlog.
Ed Price transfer today, a very, very large museum uh, down in Long Beach. Some spectacular cars. I'm sure a lot of you guys have come here, but the biggest news is the Lions Museum, uh, the Lions Drag Strip Museum, which is outside. Showed you a little bit of that, but we're gonna get out there a little bit more and see, see quite a bit more stuff. It's overwhelming, uh, easy to get lost if you haven't been here before. Uh, I've been here before and I'm lost, so. This time I decided to work on a truck, a 1950 mm -hmm. truck, Chevy. Mm -hmm. And uh, I fell in love with this truck, was in a barn in uh, Washington uh, State, in Seattle, some down there, and I love it, and I say, I like it, it's so rusty, so let's start this project. <laughs> it was a piece of, it's still a piece of rust, but right now it has a nice small block 350 engine, and uh, it has a nice interiors, and a wooden bed, and a nice uh, bag, uh, and wheels. All right. We're gonna take it for a spin today because that's what we do. As I said to you, Fireball team, and we just replace everything all the mechanical, all the suspension, the engine, and all the electric. Everything is brand new. Outside is still original because the patina makes this truck so unique. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm the only one. I'm, I'm sure there are other somewhere the same, but this one is so unique. And as you know, I'm in love with Chevy. I have a Chevy Pala, I have a Chevy Camaro, and then for the first time I work on a Chevy truck. You're, you're the most Italian Chevy lover I know. So strange because <laughs> I was born and raised on a Really, literally uh, two, blo two blocks from a Fiat headquarters. Mm -hmm. I grew up with Fiat 124, Fiat 500, Fiat so forth. And then, by then, uh, at the age of 26, I moved to America. It was a love of first sight uh, with uh, uh, American muscle car and only Chevy. I oh, love Chevy. Chevy. Chevy Nova, Chevy Impala, Chevy Camaro, uh, Malibu, everything has to be Chevy. Very nice. And uh, because I love the mechanical aspect of it, uh, Fireball Team, we put a, a piece of plexiglass here so you can see you know, the, the underneath. The reason why it's a little bit the fumé shade because it uh, cannot be completely transparent because everything is dark. Thank you. 
to no good with his cars. That's pretty sweet. 3600, 1950, uh, great truck. I think he's probably gonna end up selling it, but uh, uh, pretty fun, you know, for those of you that want to have something cool for the weekend. This could be a cool car. build these cars yes and uh, if someone makes you an offer great if they don't yes. you just hold I, on I, I keep it yeah I love them yeah. I build them and I like to drive them yeah. so is uh, every Sunday either I take my Chevy Impala or I take this truck and there's someone uh, on the street on the road say Vladi I like your truck uh, yeah. sell it to me then why not yeah. be the, the, right, the, right, the right buyer and the right offer but why not what shows would you recommend what's a good show that you would take this truck to well, if I had to go, sometime I go to the one in Pomona. Mm -hmm. okay. there, there's, there's one meet in Pomona. Yeah. There is once a month, once every two months, and yeah. I will be there the next time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So if you're going to sell me this truck right now, what, would, what kind of price would you give me? For you, it's free. But for <laughs> anybody else, it's going to be around thirty-five thousand dollars. Okay, it's around thirty-five. So if you, you know, if you want a new truck, uh, a new old truck, a new old truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's awesome. A new original old truck. Yeah, good yeah. deal. Thank you, man. Thank you so okay. much. Thank you. That was. A